So w with, with <clears throat> you know, if you think about how prepared we are right, and these state and local agencies, how, how prepared are they for not only a ransom attack, but um, a nation state attack, right? They're from not, China, Russia. They're not very well prepared, although they're starting to get the message. And everything I've talked about has helped them get the message. But quite frankly, it's on all of you, too. And it's hard. I mean, how many of you have walked in and you could see the people's eyes glassing open and you're trying to sell them your product, right? And you're like, well, why do I need this shit? I can't see it. I can't feel it, right? It's not like something I can look at, right? And then all of a sudden, they get an attack and they call you in a panic, right? That's, that's what we've got to get past. And that's, it's hard to do. But I don't know. I looked at it this way. How, how did the Ukrainian war with Russia start? Anybody know? Tell me real quick. <laughs> a massive cyber attack, right? A massive cyber attack. And then everything came from that. The cyber command in the US military is booming. The cyber command in Russia and China and all over the world is booming. And because we all know that the next war is probably going to be won or lost sitting at computer stations, disabling other systems. Who can do it better and more effectively? And which systems are more vulnerable are going to lose? You know, and uh, Russia has had, uh, crippled Ukraine before they went in. And everyone thought that was going to be the reason it was going to end quickly. But once Ukraine was able to stop the initial surge, they were able to get their feet under them and were helping them fight back. But make no mistake about it, every single day, China, people employed by the Chinese government are attacking our systems. And people that are acting on the perimeter of the Russian government are attacking our systems. And people that are in Iran with the working with the government are attacking our systems in North Korea every single day. And it blows my mind that people don't understand that. And anybody, any corporation that does not have the CISO in the C-suite with the executives is out of their freaking minds, in my opinion, right? <clears throat> because they're flirting with fire. And I always tell them, and I guess you should say this too, when you go in for a sales pitch, you say, don't think and hope you're not going to be the next victim. Assume you're going to be the next victim and act accordingly. If you don't assume that you're going to be the next victim, you're not doing your company justice. And we got a better product, a lot cheaper, a lot better than those other knuckleheads. Right? Yep. So. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs>